We might be drunk, we might be drunk As long as we are hanging out, you know we might be drunk Raise a glass, let's talk shit Head peeps, Rex, and a bit Maybe drunk, we might be drunk Yeah Hey, hey, folks, here we are. We might be drunk. We're here. We're queer. We're, we're, are we in the holidays still? Yeah, it's the uh, holidays. Christmas time is here. Hanukkah time. Kwanzaa time. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> What's going on? We got Godfrey here on the ones and twos, the beer uh, Jew, do it, do the it, real do it, Jew. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Godfrey, do you drink? So, uh, what do you guys got? Oh. I mean, I'm not a drinker like you guys. I don't know my liquor that well. Uh, parents. Weren't big drinkers, but we always had liquor in the house. But they did it usually for company, like uh-huh. yeah. Uh, but my father company. drank beer. My father drank beer. Yeah, good company. <laughs> yeah, uh, he drank beer, wines, and we had a, we always had liquor in the house. But we never. My father was always like, "Don't do that's not good." Yeah. You know, so we never. But then, like my sister, and my brother's college. That's when they started. Drinking well, we're not those. good. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't even drink in college, man. Really? What? Well, you were an athlete. Yeah, but still, athletes drink. Yeah, that's but you, true. Well, right. yeah, strawberry. But you, you were a baseball <laughs> yeah. player, right? I'm football, baseball, Short track stop, and right? field. Shortstop in baseball. What? Until high school. I Just from that. like little league to high school, oh, okay. I, was, I was shortstop. Like serious, like shortstop. Like damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, yeah. Baseball then got into merged into football and track and field. Just on some like, oh, let me try that. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I well, was a big baseball head. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, my God. Wow. Greer Barnes, me, yeah. Greer's oh, in Greer, For sick. Love of the Game, the Kevin Costner yeah, yeah, yeah. movie. He's what? a big That's baseball guy. Like, yeah. Wow, uh, great actor as well. He yeah, can act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I, baseball was my thing. Like, growing up in the north side of Chicago, grew down the street, not too far from Wrigley Field. White my Sox, whole life. oh, Cubs. Cubs, yeah. Yeah. And so. What's my, the difference between White Sox and Cubs fans? One's on the north side, the other's on the south side. Mm. Is there a beef? And not like Yankees and Mets, not, oh, not okay. as not as intense, but there is like, but I watched the White Sox. I was like, the Sox are Chicago. I didn't give a fuck, you know. Yeah. And we had Harry Carey. Oh yes. yeah. But Harry Carey was with the White Sox first. Uh huh. Harry Carey was Harry. Well, Harry Carey was in St. Louis. He's from St. Louis. Then he came to the White Sox with Hawk Harrelson, and then he came to the to the Cubs. That's when he got really famous. When it was like with the Cubs, we were like, oh shit, because he'd be drunk. Cubs would lose. No one gave a fuck. Everybody was waiting for Harry Carey's uh, seventh inning stretch to come and sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game because he'd be fucked up. Yeah. So they'd be like, everybody <laughs> take me out to the ball. <laughs> I take me. And we're all like this. Yeah, fuck it. We're getting smoked. It's 11 to nothing. We're like, Harry. <laughs> That's the thing about Chicago. Lot You stood out. We, we had a lot of horrible teams for a while, but there's always somebody that stood out. Sammy Sosa, mm-hmm. it's you know what I mean. It's like Sosa was so likable, and then you hear yeah. behind the scenes, you're like, "This dude's like a sociopath." Really? Yeah. Yeah. You see him in the interview, and like, it's, I think it's Jeremy Champ, and the the yeah. doc is incredible, the ESPN thing, and he's like, "Just admit you cheated," and he's like, "I don't know what you're talking." Nah. Yeah, he's, he's got like bleach white skin now. He's like yeah. everything oh, about this. He looks, yeah, he bleached his skin. He's like he's, the Joker now. It's he crazy. Looks so bad. Oh, really? Did what, you is see he that summer documentary? Um, no. Mark, what are we drinking, by the way? The, here? the summer, the long is it called Long Summer? With it's the Mark McGuire and that oh, summer where they were going against yeah, each other. Have yeah, you seen the, doc? The, the home run record. You seen the doc? I no. saw the Sosa it doc. I didn't see that sick one. Sick as he- it's fantastic. Baseball was so fun. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's fantastic. Oh, oh wait, wait. What, let's, what let's are we let's drinking? Get a real full quick. description here, beer yes. Jew. Uh, this is uh, per Mark's request today. We're drinking the classic old man's drink, the Rusty Nail. Ooh, baby. Rusty Nail, huh? So wow, it smells so, good. Scotch and drambouille and a little. What's dram- old... What booty? Ash <laughs> <laughs> in my drink, bro. The Isle of Skye booty. Oh, the Isle of Skye. Isle of Skye. No, it's just. This uh, is what Sinatra yeah. drank, right? Yes. Yeah. This is. Uh, this was made popular by the Rat Pack. Cool. Oh, wow. Hey, I love the Rat Pack. Yep. Oh, I read yeah. all the books on the Rat Pack. Came out in the '60s. It was uh, pioneered by the 21 Club. Love really good. Be oh, the, the 21 lady Club tonight. <laughs> He's already Never hammered. Never get out of my sight. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get together of the guy you take, you came in with. Luck be, be the lady, lady tonight. tonight. All right. <laughs> 
then, hey, wait, wait, who's yeah. going to be Sammy Davis? <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> got Frank, Dean, Sammy. Sammy, that's um, it, man. Dude, no. Dean's the Dean's the fun one. Oh, He'd yeah. be Lawford. Yeah, <laughs> Lawford. yeah, be definitely. Lawford. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is this is a pretty good drink. Oh, it's, just, it's great. It's just it's subtle. Wow. It's nice. Well, ah, it's good. It's sweet, but. See, you guys are drinkers. You yeah. know, you know drinks. This thing's burning my chest. Yeah, what? You see how he doesn't even feel it? Goes down easy. Yeah, I like th- it. This see, is nice. It's mm. really nice. I guess it'll be easier for you after if you want. You have easier because I feel the heat. Sure. I'll drink that one if you want. We gave what? you the little lady glass too. I like this. I like the ice cubes, man. Oh yeah, sweet. I like Good wrapper. This looks like one of those like commercial shots with yes, the ice. Yes, it it's does. Like perfect. You know how you have. Food experts right. that like put fake ice. This is you well, make he's, it look like he's a pro. Carved myself. Well, did you? No. <laughs> You're big enough for me to believe it. You know what's there good are those, uh, those are those DiSarono on the rocks that with uh, Michael Imperioli? Those ads? No, those that was, he was doing the oh, 1800 ads. Oh, he was the 1800. Doing 18, that was yeah. good. I like they those. Just, they look so good. Those those I like that guys. dude. That's a Doesn't horrible it? liquor, by the way, Di Sorono. Impro Imperioli. I saw him. My buddy uh, Babs was. He's a uh, Nigerian actor. He just moved. To, he moved to London a few years ago. He's a uh, one of the. He's the highest ranked. He was the highest ranked jujitsu master, you know, in on the Eastern Seaboard. It was Jeez. my buddy. He used to hang with us, me and Artie, and all. Well, you got to be able to fight if your name is Babs. Ba- right. you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's this is his friend Leslie, <laughs> <laughs> and he's a fantastic actor. And he did a one uh, was a three part three person show play with Imperioli. Oh, oh wow, it was really good. It was like a taxi cab stand thing. It was like a off Broadway play. It was oh badass. man, yeah, it was, that's was, that's the love real that guy. He's so New York. I love that dude. Yeah, he's a cool ass dude too, man. It was really it was cool to meet him. Like I was like, oh shit. You we used to live with Viola Davis. I li- I my first my <laughs> Isn't wow. that crazy? My How about first that? my first roommate, like when I got here, gosh, it's so funny because my managers have passed away. It's like when you're getting you're like life is true. Mine managed me, to... me as if they passed away. But they didn't, uh... <laughs> it's it's like my my two okay, when I was in Chicago. I got this guy named T.K. Kirkland. I know T.J. T.K. T- 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 Kirkland. Man, that guy. People like that guy. Woo, yeah, that he, act. His, his, he'll he'll yeah. turn a room. Yeah, he's he he's gangster, hardcore, but he's the one that influenced me to come to New York. Really? People And people, when he talks, they go, oh, he's fucking lying. Oh, t- he doesn't lie. He's He sounds, you ever, you ever heard somebody that's telling the truth but sounds like they're lying? He goes, he goes, yeah. He goes, I, st- he stole Eddie Murphy's watch. What? what? Yeah, he he took Puff. I think whose credit? Russell Russell um, Simmons credit card. When he was eighteen, nineteen, he was stealing. I love this every, guy. Charlie, because Charlie Murphy, <laughs> you just love people who steal. Yeah, Charlie, yeah. Charlie is a kleptomaniac. Oh <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, not I, with jokes or anything. But. Oh, no, good, no, not definitely not. That. No, but he'll steal like a candy bar. I'm that. Yeah, I, yeah. I do that. Oh, it's a rush. <laughs> it's a, it's because I was a big kleptomaniac in college. Same. I stole a lot of shit in college because mm-hmm. we had no dough. You're Same. broke as fuck. I went away for school, University of Illinois, Fighting Illini. I oh, went hell yeah. to University of Illinois. I was a pre-med psych major. So this is what happened. The, our books were super expensive. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you're like- It's a racket. What the fuck is this? You know, like, college is expensive. It's unnecessarily expensive. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck, you know? So what we did was my friends were working at the bookstore. And, I, you know, you had people who would work study. I did library work study. My friends did, one worked as a snack shop, more in bookstores. So my buddy would be like, listen, man, these books are expensive as fuck. This is what we're going to do. My shift <laughs> is between blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And you know, it's cold out. So he said, yo, bring your coats. It's going to be a heist. And yeah, so we would just take books. National Lampoon presents Ocean's Eleven right yeah. here. Yeah. Is- we would take books, especially the most expensive ones, yeah. the texts that we didn't want to, and then buy it and then pay for the smaller, the, the cheaper ones right. in the other classes. But the science ones, we took a bunch of books because you can sell them back. Yeah, exactly. And you sell them back for decent money. You're a, you know, you're fucking 18 and you're getting $300 at the end of the fucking year. You're like, word. So we would steal and then here's another thing I gotta admit. 
what we did too was we was like Operation <laughs> Finals. Great if this guy darker and darker. Yeah, it's getting creepier and creepier. That's what I love about podcasting. <laughs> Fuck it, let me go for it. Let it all out. Uh, Operation Finals exams. We would go to like certain dorms at certain engineering spots and start taking everybody's books. <laughs> we, especially some fuckers we didn't like. We go, all right, and we like calculus. The calculus book was always the best catch. So we'd go, yo, we're gonna. You know, we come to certain like study areas and we start snatching people's shit. <laughs> Everybody was doing it. Yeah, then we would go <laughs> to the to the uh, to the merch. Like you know, you got sweatshirts, sure. fighting line. And my friend worked there, and they had no cameras. Oh they, yeah, they never had it's security a different cameras. Time. So we'd be like, "Yo," he and he'd go to the back. Yo, I'm gonna go find that that size for you. Yeah. And we'd just start rock, and he'd make sure we get stuff for them. Mm. Oh, we were everybody was doing it. Yeah, steal it. The snack shop. We had a snack shop we would go to. <laughs> yeah, there was now, like a, now there's cameras. Now they got to go like Pulp Fiction. They're like, if any of you cocksuckers <laughs> yeah. move, I'll shoot yeah, every yeah, last right. one of you. <laughs> and this is before before Google, I imagine. So if you didn't have a calculus book, you didn't know calculus. You, didn't you know couldn't cal- look it up anywhere. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah, we used to, and it was like it was addicting. I I was getting away. I could. I was getting good at stealing. I was like, man, I'm, I'm not even a thief, but. I love stealing. It was like, <laughs> I love stealing. And then, like, I had buddies that got into credit card shit. It was oh, just like, we did that for a while. A lot yeah. of crime in, in college, man. In the, in the frats, the fraternities. Oh, yeah. Man, these motherfuckers. Because we, okay. In Illinois, we had the biggest fraternity and sorority system in the were country. You, were you a frat guy or not? Nah, I almost, my buddy was, I, my buddy Kyle, black dude, he joined a white fraternity, Kappa Sigma. And I remember moving him in, like, this is my buddy from high school. And I'm, I was moving him in, like, moving him in. And the black fraternity dude saw me. The Omega, you ever heard Omega, the Q dogs? Oh, yeah. Oh, I've seen Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see Stomp the Yard? Or yes. Yeah, fuck yeah. So these guys, Omegas, they saw me moving stuff. And he go, they go like, hey, yo, man, what, yo, what the fuck are you doing? I go, oh, this is my buddy Kyle. He was one of those black dudes. That didn't he? He always hung around white guys. That's uh-huh. that was him. But but we call him one Ky- of the good ones. <laughs> me, and, <laughs> <laughs> me and Kyle were friends because that was my buddy because he related to me because I hung out with everybody. Yeah, you know I was always I went to a bunch of rushes. Yeah, on well, rush is just free booze. It's free oh, booze yeah. and free food. So yeah. I was because everybody. I it's was fun thinking, to be courted. It, oh, it so, is. But I was the black dude. Me and Kyle were the black dudes that people wanted in their fraternities right so they'd be like dude they'd be like this hey man sig ups man we're the best man <laughs> sig ups man here's my buddy steve this is my buddy josh yo man you can have anything we got a great barbecue man every year we got this hacky sack right so it was like and i could play my ass off by the way oh really i'm fucking fanatic i'm fantastic I was fantastic. Oh, that was the only thing white people had on you. <laughs> we got the hacky sack and hockey. But, but hacky sack. Here's the thing about hacky sack. If you played soccer. Yeah, same shit. It's the same shit. It's like, yeah. I, you know, my father. Minus, I'm the, Niger- minus the weed. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I'm Nigerian, so soccer was my first sport. Is my that, father, is that but, your yeah, best sport? My father, was the father my, my uncles, they all played. So yeah. that. You know, I knew how to dribble with my feet, you know, and so when I played hacky sack, you know, it was not that it was other than these moves. Yeah. I got really good at it. But then, you know, um, it's so funny because hacky sack is you, you throw a, a hacky sack to a Mexican dude. He's like, oh, 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 to an African guy. Oh, 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 right. He's like, oh, oh. you know, anybody that can play soccer. They, they yeah. just, you know what I mean? So that was easy. Hand, foot coordination. Hockey. I got something to tell you all. Guys. Uh-oh. Let me tell you. No, Uh-oh. Let me tell you. Hockey. Let me tell you something about hockey. I found this out. I found it out. Um, you know, I just came back from Edmonton. Okay, you guys do Edmonton. Sure, House yeah, of Comedy. Actually, I've never done that one. Yeah. You gotta do it. How the fuck you ain't doing I don't know why. It's for whatever reason. It's one of, I've done Winnipeg. I've done Vancouver, Oof, Toronto, I, 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 rumors, Montreal. Man, I, Winnipeg it's a tough is, one. It looks, it's the 80s. And I can't, it it's is. the 80s. It's it really the is. 80s. I, 
Winnipeg, I I, I want to go. I've done Winnipeg. It's below 40 degrees. It's like, they have right? underground tunnels in yes, Winnipeg. Yes, exactly. They get so cold. I've done Winnipeg a bunch of times. Mm. Rumors, I've done Winnipeg Comedy Festival. I've done Winnipeg many times. Yeah. I just, I just, I can't do, I it's just a, can't I'd, be there. It's I'd so... rather get pegged <laughs> than go to Winnipeg. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather get winning. You know? uh, I tend to add to that. Sorry. I'll take you it. You know when you go into the corny zone, you just go. <laughs> yeah, you know? let's do it. Hey, man, this, this is what we, I, I might need another one of these. These are fantastic. These are <laughs> they incredible. go down easy, the Drambuu. You haven't done fucking Edmonton yet? I've never, for whatever reason, I know it's they like an oil town. It's like a... Uh, oh, take, yeah, the pig rigs. Yeah. Yeah, oh, rig pigs. Yeah. yeah, rig pigs. They'll take. They'll. I because. Um, shout out to uh, Rick Bronson and Tammy. Yes, they love comedians. Period. Oh yeah, because Rick was a comedian, and he's an, a fantastic magician. Oh. Really, he is. I'm telling you, he is an amazing magician. A lot of comedians are were magicians yeah. first. Steve Martin, Woody Allen, Johnny Carson. They were all like magicians first. But yeah, they like comedians. You have a name. You can do. Th- I mean, I just realized I haven't eaten. <laughs> oh shit! I haven't eaten yet today. I want to get this guy a Tell couple of nuts. sandwiches coming. Yeah, that's not going to be good. Yeah. Well, I'll, I could do one up, more. I'm, I'm done. Well, I could do one more. I just on empty stomach. I'm gonna tell you kidding. something about hockey real quick. Yeah. That I discovered. Uh oh. Because <laughs> I, uh, you know, when I, I like, but but being in Canada a lot, I got used to like watching a lot of hockey. But I was watching hockey with the Blackhawks. Blackhawks are major to us in Chicago. Sure. Everybody watches the Blackhawks. Black people, we we fuck really? with the Blackhawks. Really? Hardcore. I didn't know that. We fuck with the Black. We wear our t shirts. We I had mugs. Blackhawks are serious. All Chicago teams are serious in Chicago. Yeah. We support all our teams. Period. Yeah. So well, it's easy to when you had the nineties Bulls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's right. easy to have a couple but, losers. But no, we were we were we were loyal to our horrible no, no, fucking for sure. teams before Chicago's that. Chicago's legit. I Chicago to me is like I have a few cities in America that I like I'm like these these are cities I fuck it's with. Real city. San Francisco, Chicago. Chicago I love Boston. City. I like mean, but those are like great. The yeah. major ones are the, like Chicago, Philly, Philly, yep. great. I love Philly, DC. But we all we all love our teams. We all have a lot of pride in our teams. Chicago. All the amazing. racially tense cities. Yes, are the best. best bring out the comedy. best comedies. That's so comedy. true. It's the truth. Philly, what? Boston, Chicago, all the angry cities. Detroit, right. Detroit. Yeah, that fight over their teams. That right. fucking <laughs> best comedy. Well, tension. Comedy's tension. Exactly. Right. Well, you guys have so many great <laughs> comics out of Chicago. You know. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's I mean, you like, had like Bernie Mac. You knew Bernie, Bernie Mac, right? You knew Bernie, 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 Bernie Mac. Yeah. What? I oh think he's God. one of the greats, and I don't think he gets put up. He doesn't. In the, he in doesn't. The... And it's. I think it's because comics do. We we know he's great. Yeah. But... The problem is, I thought we didn't have a chance to see him do specials. Mm. We didn't have a ch- specials are what keep you keep. That's like your catalog. Like you see Carlin. Carlin has like thirteen specials. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think Rock, eighteen. It's something right, crazy. Rock, right. Crazy. He was like the first eight. I think Robert Klein or him were the first HBO guys. Yeah. And you got. Like Chris Rock, he has a catalog of specials. You know, it's the fortunately we got this. You know, the Netflix thing when they're actually acting properly, <laughs> giving specials to the right. No, I'm saying, I yeah, mean, Chappelle I, did what four in a so, year or something. Yeah, he, shit? Has a, he has a catalog, and I, and I hope that Chappelle for all, specials are like his podcast. He's like, we're right. gonna throw out another one here. Yeah, exactly, yeah. it's yeah. amazing. He just goes, <laughs> I want to do a special. <laughs> I think I need to talk to the gay community again. <laughs> Just another special. I know this is going to be part two of me not being homophobic. See, listen, Chappelle can be in his fucking underwear in his bathroom, and they're like this. I'm doing one out the bathroom. It's going to be, it's gonna be prolific. The dropping a deuce tour. Yeah, dropping yeah. a deuce. He's just be on the, on the toilet. Everyone's like, With man, that was brilliant. Chappelle can do whatever the fuck he wants. I thought it was just going to be a piss, but it transitioned into a shit. <laughs> it was a six two. and a half hour shit. He broke Dan Cook's <laughs> record. <laughs> but the the hockey thing, yeah. let me tell you, I looked it up because I'm, you know, I, me, I'm always like looking up like if black people created shit. Sure. To that, because it'll be like this. This man created this. I go, hmm. My Malcolm X goes. I don't believe that shit. <laughs> I don't know why I had to do the Malcolm X voice for the Eddie Murphy '80s voice. Uh, <laughs> I think you lied, man. So I was oh, like, "Dude, your Eddie Murphy's dead on." Yeah, I, it's it's but it's the Eddie Murphy that was like 
the loud black dude when Eddie Murphy did the loud black yes, guy. Yes, the actor. Say, out. motherfucker, you're right. Kiss your ass, man. I'm gonna whoop your ass. That that you that's know, he's, so good. It was so funny. That so just funny. makes me feel. That's like my childhood. So it just makes me feel it's good. So dude, I I think about seeing the Nutty Professor in the theater with my dad and never seeing my dad laugh that hard in my life. That's like, so yeah. great. Dude, that, Eddie Murphy, I think, deserved an Oscar for that he, movie. Thank you. Because he played like 10, ten fucking people. And he didn't play like a cheap 10. No, like, that, I'm like, it those wasn't characters a cheap have ten. like heart, man. They had heart. Yeah. playing like a mom with like a, a heart. And a- something about the industry, it must be something against the guy. Against comedy. It's though. comedy. Oh, it's against comedy. comedy. But it's not, that's unfair. They, they don't fuck with comedians at the Oscars. But that's so unfair because. But he should have won for Dream Girls. Sh- that was yeah. like his year. Yeah. I, mean, I think there's a jealousy of. Actors are jealous of us. I'm serious. I think there's a jealousy of being able to make people laugh like that. There's a jealousy. We also live much more recklessly than actors. No, I'm no, sure. but comedy's but, harder but than that no, no, shit. I'm, it no, is. no, 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 no. I'm, just, I'm not saying that. What I'm yeah. saying is I think actors see that we can just be free. Like, we can just do this shit. Right. Yeah, actors we, are waiting we for a working. script. We gotta, true. Yeah. We're just making our shit. Yeah, That's it's true. true. They but they blow want each other. to be funny so badly, though. Yeah. It's like music. It's like comedians that want to be musicians, and musicians want to be comedians. Right, John Mayer. But yeah, I re- Mayer. But don't you ever see an actor on like a late night talk show? You rarely like them more. Who's true, you, true. You, you, you see an actor on like Fallon or like whatever show, right. and you rarely like them more. <laughs> right. Like you like them more when they're the other person, and that must right. be fucked up. Like yeah, you're like, right. you love me when I'm pretending only. But when, but when an actor is funny, now that goes a long you way. You go because John Malkovich. Man, yeah, his I mean, he's interviews a legend, are though. the best. Yeah, he's so damn funny because he knows everybody knows Malkovich for his serious face. Right, another Chicago guy. Ah, yeah, step brilliant Moore, actor. Moore theater. Yeah, he, they they um they like him for it because when he was on Conan, one of the funniest interviews. I really? didn't. I've never seen him on. Panel. I never did either. Oh, Dude, man. I just rewatched Rounders. It's it's a, that's oh, still a great oh, movie. The Oreos. That's a great fucking yeah. great movie. It's, his accent made me laugh though. He said, he goes, you have to make that money. I need money. You better give money. That shit was so terrible. And after they wrap that scene, everyone starts clapping on set. And he leans over the table to Matt Damon. This is what Matt Damon said in an interview. He leans over the table. He goes, I really don't know what they're clapping at. That was pretty horrible. <laughs> wow! He goes, I made money. You need to keep money. <laughs> it shit was making me laugh. Give that, Give that shit was hilarious. I love um, him. Kevin he, Spacey also great on interviews. Yeah, an actor he's who was very great on good. On, he can imitate people yeah, too. Yeah, really can funny guy. Kevin, Kevin Pollock. Can, yes. Kevin's a stand up. Yeah, right. Keaton was a stand up. Michael yep. Keaton was a stand up. Michael Keaton is is great in everything. Yeah, Keaton's dope as fuck. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, I just had what was I talking about? Uh oh, hockey. No, no, no. Eddie actor, Murphy. Actor. This happens a lot on this Oscars. podcast. Malcolm, Malcolm, the alcohol. Malcolich. Yeah, Malkovich. So Malkovich yeah. is talking to Conan, and Conan yeah. to me, out of all of them, is my favorite. Yeah, and he's like this, Same. and Conan's so laughing, going, "So you said you're like really good at stuff." He goes, "Yes, I am. I'm amazing at <laughs> leg wrestling." He, and Conan's <laughs> like, "What leg wrestling? No one's beaten me in leg reg, leg wrestling." He goes, "I would like to challenge you in leg wrestling." Conan. Can we pull this up, Matt? Do, Can you pull up the, yeah. the Malkovich leg Le- wrestling? Leg wrestling uh, Conan. It's oh, fucking wow. hysterical. I missed that one. And, Ma- and everybody knows because people are intimidated by Malkovich. So he's just like, he uses that as the comedy. Yes. He goes, yes. I'm very good at, I'm, I would like to. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> yep. Wow. Leg wrestling. <laughs> wow. <laughs> one, two. <laughs> this is leg wrestling. Giant. Three. Conan plays it up. That's a great host. Conan, so Conan really is the best. He's yeah. fantastic. And yeah, but that's Malkovich was he's a funny dude. Yeah, I like that. Because he doesn't he did he doesn't laugh and he just tells Joe he's just being very funny. Yeah. With that with that facial expression. It's really it's pretty cool. But that, I think people are jealous of comedians. But just, we know. do host all of it. You got to That's I think that's why you know it's like Billy Crystal, Chris you Rock. Have to, not we, anymore. They're kind of getting rid well, of that. They're scared because like Gervais. Ricky, Gervais I think. scared everybody. Good for Gervais. I know. I, I love. I think we it. can all agree he fucking killed it. He killed murdered it. it. He and 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 because people are so fascinated with British accents, we're so we're so amazed at even when these British people aren't funny, we just think and then uh, really yeah, it's like this. Can you believe this? No. <laughs> 
Obama did it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you believe in God? It's like this. Yeah. So how about this? Fuck off. <laughs> Woo! Really? You right. are yeah. an incredible impressionist. You do incredible. You do I, impressions and I don't even want to be known does. for that. But no, well, you're not. Well, you're no one, no no, one, no one calls you an impressionist, but you do incredible impressions. They're not bad. Yeah. <laughs> how, much, how much work do you put into it? Not a lot. Like, I knew Norm McDonald. What? Yeah. I knew Norm. How well do you know Norm? Norm fucked with me hard because Norm, I remember, I would catch Norm. It would be either bearded drunk Norm. Whoa. Or he'd be, you know, or, or be, or shaved because he's a handsome guy. Yeah. Sh he was a handsome, shaved, very um, handsome, sober guy. Norm. Yeah. Or I'd get a uh, shaved drunk Norm or shaved or gained a little weight. Yeah. Because he was always in and out. Yeah. In and out. And then I remember one time I was at the Laugh Factory. I come upstairs. <laughs> he goes, God, man, hey, man. Hey, man. Wow. You're awesome on stage, man. Yeah. He's like, yeah. Listen, uh, you ever done SNL? I go, I go, nah. I said, you what? ever done it? Like he yeah, wouldn't have like, heard about yeah, it? Yeah. Like, you ever done SNL, man? All the voices and all your, your voice. Uh, that was fucking awesome. Yeah. And I go, I go, nah, I got rejected by SNL three times. Really? Damn. Oh, yeah, man. I, I auditioned. We got to talk about this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I auditioned. We'll tell this story, but we want to hear SNL next. We okay. Hear yeah, he goes, yeah, yeah, you should do SNL. You should, maybe you should try it out. Uh, yeah. And I go, uh. I um I tried. They just kind of rejected me. He goes, uh, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, they hate me. Yeah, they hate me. NBC, yeah, they fucking hate me. Yeah, he's, he, that's what he said. But man, you're talented. To keep it up. Yeah, he, he, he fucked with me hard. Damn. Michael Richards fucked with me hard. Whoa. Wow. Man, I got stories. Michael Richards would run. When, remember when he snapped? I heard you heckled him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember when he snapped? Remember when he snapped? Did yeah, the end work? Totally remember. But what, I I've seen that. I've <laughs> seen a, I think everyone remembers. Yeah. <laughs> but I saw that. That's I what got me to comedy. Before he did that, I saw him. I heard he walks into canceled anonymous meetings like Kramer. I was like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him do that to an old lady. I what? Was, I was hosted what? at the Laugh Factory. He snapped I, on her? Yeah. I, I was hosted at the Laugh Factory, and this is when I was bi coastal. And, um, you, you know. You were bi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I went, I, I, he was on stage. He gets on. I bring him up. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Richard, and people losing their shit because it's fucking Kramer. Sure. And he gets on the stage. Hey, hello. He's, doing that. <laughs> He's doing that shit for like five minutes. Everybody's like this. <laughs> They're looking at him like, all right, motherfucker. Yeah. And, he, and he runs into like the wall. He's like, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Doing this. And everyone's like, get to the fucking joke. Yes. Because the, the applause was huge. And then That's they were great. like, all right, now. That's the one thing I love about comedy. It's yes. the equalizer. Yes. Comedy becomes the celebrity. It's like, right. okay, great. Now, can you do the art form we're here for? Exactly. Well, he was a brilliant comic actor, but it doesn't necessarily translate to stand up. Yeah, he was right? on a show I mean, called Fridays. I remember that. Yeah, it was Fridays was a was a sketch comedy thing on ABC. And then Nanny went into fucking Seinfeld. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so and and he was and, in UHF too, the weird Al yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he, he stand up, man, that's why I stand up, that's why I love it. I go. Stand up is so wonderful that it's going to filter the fuckers that aren't doing it right. They going it's gonna get you. Tony Wood said they, the joke gods are gonna get you, shall <laughs> The joke gods another are gonna underrated guy. He'd be a good guest too because he'll put him back with us. Oh, you yeah. need to bring him on here. We need to bring us yeah, on yeah, I, I got his number. I he's got his I love Tony. And so um he he he's on there doing some weird shit. And this old lady goes, You were better, you're funnier on Seinfeld. Woo! He goes, you fucking bitch. You fucking. Oh, yeah. He snapped. Fucking losing his shit. Whoa. And he leaves. He just walks off. Yeah. Walks <laughs> off. And, I, and they're like, God, you got to come back in. You got to come back in. I go, what the fuck happened? Wow. He just fucking snapped. And, and all you see is the mic just dangling. Shaking. Whoa. I go, give it up. Mr. Mike. Yeah, they, should, they should bring back Seinfeld, but this time Kramer's got an anger problem. <laughs> right. And, and Jerry's like, you got to stop saying the N-word. <laughs> yeah. You got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Little did Michael Richards know that old lady put a hex on him. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Years later, and I was and what I was, what's funny is I was with Mike a week before he did the N word rant. Sure, that was like the first taste of like what has kind of come to be known phone. as cancel culture. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I was there. I was at with least it. this of this of whatever course. this type of cancel culture. Of is. course, yeah. And I was with 
I was with him a week before he snapped, and then CNN <laughs> called me, and I went on the Anderson Cooper show, but Whoa. Anderson Cooper was on, he was on assignment. It was John Roberts, who's on Fox now, and he oh. interviewed me, and I was, it was me and him, and I was on, see, I've always wanted to be on CNN desk, and I was, and I was <laughs> interviewing me about what do you think, why. Is, is Cooper what, cool? I never. I didn't meet Cooper. It was John Roberts oh, was taking his spot. I gotcha. wish I was, I was oh, hoping I gotcha. it was him. I thought the, you meant you were doing a Cooper interview on his show. No, it was mistake, Anderson so. Cooper's show, but John he, was taking his place because he was on assignment. Wow. I was like, fuck. But John Roberts is pretty well known. And so I was like, he goes, so what did you think about that? I said, I mean, he snapped. I've seen him snap on other people like that. He's yeah. called people cunts and all that, and he did that God, for so shock, weird. shock value. I, you know, he's a really strange dude. He's really because right. when I would talk to him, one time I was, he was sitting on the stairs, you know, the stairs at the Laugh Factory, yeah. And I come, I come around, he goes, "Hey, hey, uh, I want to talk to you, man. I love your stage presence, man. Yeah, wow. Oh man, it's fucking great." But I was like, "Thanks, man. You know, I'm talking to him, but it was weird. Yeah, but I'm yeah. like, but he's just an odd, he's an odd guy. Yeah. He's an odd motherfucker. He is. So he doesn't know how to handle the stand up world." He fucked up, but he I know he's not well, going around hating guys, black people. Right. No, that. no, no. A lot of a lot of these guys I think it's a money grab. You you have the fame from elsewhere and your agents are like, You can make a lot of money doing stand up, build an act. Sure. But they don't really have the tools to, they, to they, do yes. it. So they don't have yeah. the humility to fail in this way. They fail as actors, of course. Right. I mean, like no one can question his greatness as an actor, but yeah. it's a different type of failure. And yeah. you need humility in stand up. You have to have humility yes. every day. You gotta yeah. bomb. Every you gotta show fail. is different. Even though you know, oh, these jokes kill. We don't know until right. you get on stage. You really don't know until you go, what's up, everybody? You don't know. It's a risk every it's time. It's a risk every time, but you're like, but I'm good enough where I've, my, my, my percentages, it's not, it's not really probability. Probability happens with these fucking bums that think they can just get up there and I'll just get drunk and just fucking do it. Do, do. <laughs> I go. Yeah. We, there's a formula to this shit, motherfucker. There's a, there's a real formula because you've tested it all over the world. And you go, right. I'm going to do this joke. Damn, it hit. It yep. real, there's a real fucking formula. But that's the magic show. of stand-up, too, is you can have the words, the cadence, the rhythm, but it yeah. might not work in this yeah. room for some reason. It's, and you have to figure out it's, why it it's didn't amazing. work. And it's and a weird thing. And that's why the years you put in it, you can go, okay, that didn't work. Watch me do this. Yes. I've seen that. You ever seen that? You're, you, you ever been on stage and you go... Oh my God! I'm experienced. I actually did the I, yeah, the joke yes. didn't work, but I was able to do that. I called an audible. Fuck! I was it does feel good. Oh right. no! I, I, Omaha! I, Omaha! <laughs> I get surprised sometimes when like a riff will work, and then you're like, "Oh yeah, I've been doing this every night for a long." I and mean, you finally got it. It's muscle yeah. memory. It's like you ever watching like Walt Frazier call a game and a, and a player's off. He's like he's aiming his shot. You're like, yeah, you're thinking about it. Just trust the repetition. Yeah, uh, trust the muscle memory. Yeah. Yes, you, exactly. you're gonna make it work it's, if you just it's, go. With, it's from, even if you yeah. even if you're bombing a couple riffs, you're gonna get them eventually. You if get you eventually. Do it. But that's from doing reps, 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 reps and you know, in other communities, what you have tips go on a lot. That's dude. it. It's no magic trick. No. You go on a lot, a lot, a lot, and you go fuck. Damn, there, yo, wow! If I didn't have the reps, I wouldn't have known what to do right. with that. It's like when I was in martial arts. I did martial arts for ten years out here. I did hop keto ten years. That's the Steven Seagal shit, right? That's almost it's a it's a cousin to Steven Seagal shit. Mm. It's like it's all like grab wrist bone break and all that shit. So you, you know, you're and, and like you can kicking. fight. You're you're in great uh, shape. Nah, I don't listen. He can I don't, fight. No. Come on, you dress like an out-of-work ninja. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you can't fight. I've seen you kick. I've seen you move. You're in great shape. You're he ripped. Shop, he shops at a store you, called Under Siege. And he's dressed like we're in a fucking cop movie together. And you're like yeah, this. Right? After I fuck everybody up, you good? Yeah. Come, Come on, over, pick it up, pick it, it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to teach me your move. Yeah. <laughs> But, I still, I never tire of those buddy cop movies. Uh, oh, no, no, me neither. Fun. And there's something about them, like the two guys who can't get along. Yeah, like it's whether great. it be Rush Hour or Forty Eight Hours. As long as it's it's all about the execution of the people in it. Yeah. It's all about the people in it. Like Jeremy Piven, he's been doing. He's 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 in the comedy world. He calls me oh, all the time. Yeah. He goes, God, I need some help. Got to pick your brain. <laughs> it's so great that he calls you God. And he's from Chicago. Yeah, uh -huh. Chicago guy too. His theater guy from Chicago. His mom created theater in Chicago, and he's like this. Uh, and I, as soon as he became a comic, I became his friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> he's like, bro, 
you got to do some cigars, man. Got to pick your brain. Uh, you know, and he's a really great actor. Yeah, yeah. he's incredible. Good. Yeah, stand up, he's getting there. Sure, but, he's, it, but he, it's like he's, well, it's hard to start once you're famous. It takes like, it, years. It is, I give him props for even doing this shit. He's. Well, don't you think he's making insane money on the road? Isn't that? Yeah, they get, pack it I up give you props, it's but pivots. also, you know, you, 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 it's a, it is a money grab too, but right? Comedy. That's what I love about comedy, because comedy shows up and goes, "You didn't put your time in." Sure. And I'm gonna let people know you haven't. Yep. But he's such he he's acting like a comedian. Okay. He's that's such good. a good actor. He's acting like I a mean, comedian. Oh. It's not intrinsic yet. It's more surfacey right, right now. Right. It's like when an actor plays a comedian in a movie and you're like, I can I know you're a good actor. I know Dustin Hoffman's a brilliant actor. You're still an actor. You're as still Lenny an Bruce. actor when yeah. you did Lenny. Yeah. Yes. When he did Lenny. I um I did a, a indie film one time. It was Elijah Wood. Mm. So I'm hanging out with Elijah Wood giving him tips. It was in L.A. It was I had and a he's small a comic part. in it. He's a comedian in it. How many movies do they can make about like a, <laughs> just cast a comic. a comic? I don't know why they don't just. We'll cast play me. fucking. We can play but a this comic. This is how much they're jealous of comedians. They won't even let you play a comedian. I'm telling you. Wow. They, yes. They're that jealous that they. Well, they, I heard we Marlon want an actor Wayans. To do it because I heard so they Ma can feel the, what it's like. Yeah, There's yeah. rumors of Marlon Wayans playing prior though. I've heard that forever. Is that ever going to happen? I don't know if that's. I heard gonna, that too. I, I think he would be good, actually, because... No? It's going to be Lenny Henry, I think. He's a British... You no, know, the black people are playing us now. It's a... <laughs> yeah, Idris Wait, Elba plays... Yeah, all black British people. Snowfall, black dudes, British. Oh, really? Yeah, he's he's British. He, I was watching his interview. I love it yourself. I heard the new Western is great. Yeah. I liked it. I liked it. Is yeah. it good? Deion it's, Cole's in it. It's very is, stylized, very Tarantino esque. It is I mean, I love Luther. I think he's awesome. Yeah, he's he, and yeah. He, but he plays American accents. Um, well, on The Office, he was hilarious. I mean, that's he the thing great. too. He's he gets comedy too. He's subtle. Yeah, he, he gets I, it. Right. Snowfall. Snowfall. Didn't he used to work he, the door of Caroline's? He did. What? Yeah, he was Tarantino. Is that right? A, yeah. Get out! That guy's too hot to be terrible. And he was tickets. a D, and he was DJ, DJ. He's I heard he's DJ. a great guy. He, I never met him. I've seen him from afar, but I never like met the guy. You know? Yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. But yeah, the, um, they're gonna do a guy named Sir Lenny Henry. I guess he's he's a famous mm. comedian guy, and he might Can we get a Pryor? photo? Lenny, of Lenny, Lenny Henry. Henry. Pryor? They him, they're considering him to do Richard Pryor. What which is, is that? Lenny it's... Henry, this guy right here. They want him to be Richard. Prior, I heard Mike I, Epps was in the running. Mike Epps was supposed to be because Mike called me to help him with inflections, mm. to help him with the prior voice. Yeah, because I could do prior. That's a voice game changer. You get that role. That's a game changer in your career. You have to do it right, though. You really but do for sure. You don't want to. I mean, I mean, look what Jamie Foxx did with Ray. I mean, that's yeah. like murdered Ray. Like Jamie Foxx is a fucking great yeah, actor. Yeah, he, he nailed really nailed it. Like perfect. Like yeah. because he's a pianist, also trained. Yep, he can yep. play piano so, so and he can sing. It's so annoyingly talented that he's guy. He's so good. Yeah, he's so, got it all. <laughs> yeah, prior, prior, that's gonna be a. You gotta really come with the fucking. There's layers to that shit because oh, Nick yeah. Cannon wanted to do it. Ah, Oof. <laughs> there's too many Jews on set. <laughs> <laughs> you can't focus. You can't have you can't have a a not good stand up play prior. You can have an actor, but you can't have a bad stand up. But you gotta get good the, point. You got to get out. You motherfuckers is crazy, Jack. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Goddamn. Damn. Is any casting people perfect. watching this shit? That was uh, dead on. It's like it, you have to have the. Yeah, man, and I'm I'm just saying, niggas, niggas are fucked up, man. That you got to, wow. there has to be levels. Has anybody seen? You know, you got to be able to. And there's the breathing. <laughs> That's some funny shit. This is good. <laughs> wow, you know? that's incredible. And Mike called me because I thought he was about to do it, and he said, "I mean, I need like a voice, like a coach, like can you help me out because you can do him." And I said. I was like, you got to pay me, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, but yeah, but no. Even the I, hand movement is perfect. And then it then it went away. I don't know what's going on with it because the wife, the one wife, his white wife that he married, he know he had eight different. Yeah, the, wives. With the short hair. Yeah, she's like hardcore. I think Jennifer. She's like really kind of kind of guarding uh -huh. the fucking property. Right. So it's kind of tough. So I don't know. It's going back and forth. Different people are trying to play them. I don't know. Yeah. So much goes into these decisions, but I mean, but there's a lot of fuck shit that goes on. A lot of egos, I think. Of course. Of course. Well, they did a pull it up, Matt. They did a Sam Kinison movie, and the and they it did? looked it looked rough. I mean, I'm sure you could find the Sam Kinison movie. Sam Kinison? It, I don't know if it got any play, but there was a trailer for the Sam Kinison what? guy. 
Matt, I, Matt, are you there? I was just yeah. watching Sam Kinison, like his first Letterman appearance. Oh, it's, it's unreal. great. I mean, talk about a game changer. Ooh. He goes into the crowd, like Ooh. everything you'd never he seen before. He broke the fourth wall. Yeah. And was and that's it? that preaching he had. That's him. No, that's not it. That's no, the real that's him. Like a dog. That's really him. I was like, yeah. that's really good. No, that would be good. Chris that Rock would... says he changed the format of stand up. Really? He really yeah. did. He really did. He was very conversational. Um, his, his fucking his long jackets and his terrible. hair. Terrible. Just terrible. Yeah, oh, yeah he so looks good. like hell. Two two <laughs> funny things about him. One, preacher, yes, who was, was in a car accident, religious family, fucked yeah. his head up, became a stand up. Roseanne was just like a housewife, got into a car accident, started doing stand up. Wow. What? Something weird about it that. Knocked something off or yeah. knocked something back in. Really? I don't know, exactly. That's crazy. Something about the car crash. Fuck so you. Up. The car crash. We might be drunk is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the therapy for the 21st century. BetterHelp is a professional therapy and it's all online. What's standing in the way of you achieving your goals? Figure it out with BetterHelp. Look, I never did therapy. He brought it up to me. I gave it a shot. Changed my life. Everybody should do it. It's like going to the gym for your emotions and your brain, and you all got baggage. You all got history. Try it. Give it a whirl. Take a shot. Who cares? You're scared. That's what it is. Sack up, puss. Try some therapy. It's all remote. Do it from the comfort and privacy of your own home. Flexible schedule. Video phone calls at your convenience. Get a good match. They'll put you in a licensed therapist who is right for you. That's the most important part of therapy. You need to f- find someone who you feel like you can talk to who gets you. It's fast. You sign up. You can start talking to your therapist in less than thir- in less than 48 hours. No waiting around. It's affordable. And now you can send messages to your therapist at any time. They'll get back to you in between sessions. Wow. That's amazing. Don't like your person? Switch anytime you want for free. They make it easy. Trust me. It helps. To have someone outside of your world to talk to, it's easy to schedule, affordable, and will take a load off your shoulders. Over a million people have already taken charge of their mental health. Join them. Tell them how, Sammy. Better help has a special offener. Uh, offener. <laughs> God, I'm off today. What the hell? You're offener. <laughs> Better help has a special offer for our listeners. Visit betterhelp.com slash drunk. <laughs> Perfect. For 10% off your first month. That's better help. H E L P dot com slash drunk for ten percent off your first month. Betterhelp dot com slash drunk. Sign up for better help to start living a happier life today. Hell yeah. I will say about the Kramer this thing. Is it, this is oh, it. there it is. Hold on, let's see who it is. Oh wow. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Let's hear the scream. I want you to do me a favor. This is pretty good. The voice is pretty good. You're standing on the altar. It's better than I remember, at least. Looking into your beautiful bride's eyes. And she's Damn. Thinking, oh, this is good. Thinking, this is it. This is the one. Here it comes. I love her. Ah! I am going to stay with her for the rest of my life. I want you to do one thing for me. Remember this face. You ready? Whoa. Awesome. That's pretty damn good. good. Screen. I this honest, was fantastic. Way better than I remembered it. Yeah. Who is that? What actor is it? Oh, really? That is the amazing. That's pretty actually. He that nailed that screen. Fantastic. Man, good for him. Damn. I remember it not being is nearly that, that good. Out? That's very good. No, that was years ago. That was many Oh, years wow. Ago. What is it? Dan Fogler, Dan well Fogler. done, Fogler. He's good. What he about is good. also? What about the guy that's doing the Robin Williams? What? There's some I didn't dude. Know about that. God, Robin can they Williams let the fucking by... corpse get fucking cold before they do these movies? <laughs> yeah, Same right. birthday, Robin Williams, oh, July you 21st. Did you know Robin well? Oh, yeah. I did shows with him. He came to the cellar a few times. I met him at Whoa. the cellar once. We chat for a long time, and he, he couldn't have been cooler. That 98 photo that you see in the cellar, I was there. Whoa. Wow. I think I was hosting that day, yep. Who, Manny, who, Manny. who are those? Any of those legends that were like, was Bernie Mac really cool to you as a young comic? Awesome. He took me under his wing, man. I have, I have a, I have a, there's a thing, mid, Bernie Mac had a HBO show called Midnight Mac before the, all this other shit in Chicago mm-hmm. where he had his band, he had a band, um, and he had his macaronis, his dancers, and he, you know, that's what he did in his open mic shows. He yeah. had a band. He would bring us up, me, Dion Cole, Corey Holcomb, all of us. Wow. And, and um, I did a sketch with him. It's on YouTube. I did a sketch with Bernie. I'm 24. Yeah. And Bernie was like, you know, he was like, God, I want you to do a sketch. 
you know <laughs> i want you to do a sketch because you know you talk you talk real proper and shit you know and this sketch is a it's a motherfucking agent you know wow. i'm gonna come I'm gonna come, across, come to the hallway you're gonna meet me at the motherfucking bar and do that you know you talk real proper and shit and i'm need that motherfucking you know but i'm college that's shit incredible you know so i was like all right and that's all i think you look up midnight mac maybe you may I, I think it should be midnight mac is it is that it he Let's doesn't see. have a ton of specials, but if you want to see quintessential Bernie Mac murdering, he's got the yeah. last set in Kings of Comedy. You know, it's a D.L. Yeah, Hughley, he murders. Uh, uh, Steve Harvey, or whatever, but he murders that thing. Yeah. It's an incredible set. Him and Steve Harvey have um, were rival. They, they oh, were rival. really? They didn't like each other? They didn't like each other um, because it was like they were fighting because Bernie, um, Steve Harvey couldn't follow um bernie of course he couldn't, so he had to host because bernie was murdering and they were like i know gq magazine i uh, interviewed bernie saying yo uh, i heard you got you um i heard you are you upset at steve harvey is he are you upset at him he goes he's not good enough to make me upset Ooh. he said that shit because steve hated on him so much there's um do you know anthony um oh god with steve with steve do you know steve harvey at all or no Yes, I know Steve. Chicago, yeah. Chicago. No, he's Cleveland, yeah. but he, always, but he always came through Chicago. Oh, okay, and I would see him at this. We had a club called. Was All he Jokes. good? Was he a good dude to you? He was cool. He actually, because I was in a comedy team for a year. It was Godfrey and Alexander, a guy I was with, big tall dude, and he was fucking up because he mm. would he didn't because a duo is hard. Yeah, and I was writing all the sketches, and then I was in the hallway and I was pissed off, and Steve came out. Steve was like, yo, what's up? What's up? Why you what's what you mad about? I was like, ah, I'm just my my partner, he's not he's not remembering his lines. He's always up there drunk and shit. And I remember he goes, he goes, Steve goes, How much money you getting? I was like, I'm getting about, we're getting like a hundred bucks. This is when I first started. He goes, You tired of splitting that shit? He's like, yeah. He's like, cut his ass. Wow. And Whoa. walked off. I got a photo with Steve that day when he wow. told me this. Wow. Yeah, Steve, yeah. And then I opened, that's when I opened up for Jim Carrey. What? what? Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. We're 19... talking too much. This is too much gold here. I'm sorry. 1995, I opened up for Jim Carrey at Illinois Institute of Technology because my friend was an engineer and she was running the student activity. She goes, you want to open up for Jim Carrey? I said, are you fucking kidding me? It's one of my favorites. Jim Carrey's a big influence on me. I mean, that's after Dumb and Dumber, The Mad. This yeah, is this 95. Was, this, was, this was like, yeah, and it, and it was like he was really coming. He was starting to get like really big. And I opened up for him. I have a photo with him. And we were in a basement. Like and it was me, him, cool and guy. Harlan Williams. Whoa. Harlan Williams is Har great. Harlan was. I love that And Harlan still remembers me from that day. And I go, that's how I became good friends with him. And I remember he was the nicest dude. Because I remember his managers asked me, hey, man, you're a big Jim Carrey fan. I say, fuck yeah. He goes, just trying to make sure that your style is not the same. He's like, I go, nah, I'm totally not. I go, he's but a big influence on me. He goes, I, we just want to check because we don't want same shit. And I respected that. Because we want to make sure, sure everybody's doing their. That's why Harlan's so different than Jim. Right. Even though they're both Canadian, I go, no, I don't. So I, I, I Harlan kinda, is kind of underappreciated. He's he really so is. funny. I think he's a really funny guy. He's really, hey, Scooter, yeah. what's your name? <laughs> oh, what's your name? Oh, okay, that's cool. Are you from outer space? All right. <laughs> I love it. He's fantastic. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. But Anthony uh, Griffin is that. That's Anthony Griffin. Okay. They, so what did Jim say to you? Do you remember any of the conversations? No, he was just talking about what he's doing next and stuff. And, you know, like how long he's been doing it. If I remember, he was just really, it was just me and him. Wow. The basement, man. I got a photo with him. Got it. It's just me and him. Oh, yeah. Here it that is. It. Yep. Keep moving towards the end. Moving towards the end. And we can't play uh, I'm scared of you motherfuckers. No, no. <laughs> we can't do that. But is it's it so funny. So good. That, I think. Keep going. What year do you think we're in here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this has got a couple million views over here. I, I, you know what? I'll, sh I'll maybe some other time I'll show you the because if I look at my phone, I, I always because you know on YouTube it marks your stuff down when you're looking at stuff. So yeah, videos. Let me see if I can get this real quick. All right, all Midnight right. Mac. Watch this. Mid. I didn't even know he had a show on HBO. How did I miss that? Yeah, it was like a few episodes and then it, it um, yeah. It's Midnight Mac with Bernie Mac Part One, mm -hmm. Part One, and it's at. Hold on. 
Oh, shit. He knows it's a huge Bernie Mac tw- fan. 25 29. 25 right 29. There. there I am. Whoa. Where? Play this. Where? Yeah. That's me. Turn on up, the turn right. up the volume. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the hair. Turn, turn up, wait, wait. Turn up the volume and, and go back. Watch this. How nervous were you? One minor change. Okay. Watch this. Isn't this funny? The show needs a little more edge. You know, hip hop, gangster. That's it. Gangster. <laughs> I'm, I'm like this sellout agent. Right. Let, 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 let me explain something to you, Mr. H. <laughs> and I'm not changing this to you or anybody else. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? You understand me. I'm old school. See, I'm bringing the back to the front. You want some flavor. You just take the show the way it is. Well, you make the call. <laughs> he coached me. Yeah. I'll burn you. Drive a hard bargain. We'll take it. <laughs> he drive a hard bark. He wants me to be corny. He right. said, I want you to be real corny and shit. <laughs> wow. That's what he, yeah. That's my proof of I know Bernie. That's amazing. He, yeah, Bernie really was really nice to me. He took me under his wing and shit like that. Legend. He, he, you know who yeah. loves Bernie Mac? Seinfeld. It's yeah. one of his favorite comics. Well, he won't Seinf- shut up about Bernie Mac. Really? He loves Bernie Mac. Wow. And Seinfeld, I got, I was, I'm in Comedian. That's right. I'm in two scenes, man. I've I, seen that a million times. You yeah. go, well, you got enough. He's like, I'm going to do the road now. Yeah, you got enough. Yeah, Seinfeld like, saw me do, what did he see me do? This was the funniest shit. When I was came back, I came back from Egypt, and I was did this whole thing about uh, whether I should ride a camel or ride a horse, because they give you a choice at the pyramids. Oh, yeah. They say, you want a horse or the camel? And I was like, shit, and the camel, I'm doing all this shit about the camel, and he had seen me. And then he goes, hey, and then I see him some weeks later and he goes, hey, man, I've been wanting to talk to you for a minute, blah, blah, blah. So we sit and we talk at the at the olive tree for like an hour. Whoa. He's giving me advice. Oh, yeah. He's, and Jim Norton is looking at me like this. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> I hate you. He was uh, jealous. He was like this. I hate you. Look at you. Uh. What are you? <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> he, was just, he just kept saying, you bug me. Look at you, your eager face. He, yeah. just, he just kept sitting back there and I'm just watching Jim going. Uh. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, but that's, yeah, that's, um, I got a lot of fucking stories, man. It's like, you once you stay around, you know, yeah. you guys, you guys are collecting. You're We're collecting, collecting stories. Yeah, you know uh, Jay Leno, Sandler. You I met, met? I met, I met, yeah, I don't yes. know him. I don't know him, but I met Sandler, him. my story with Sandler is when he came, he was doing comedy again, and we were at the comic strip. And comic strip was dope. Mm-hmm. And he was. What it, happened to the comic strip, man? It, it, got, it got. It was dope. It was dope as fuck. It got me and corny. Tom, me and Papa were comic strip guys. I love Tom me Papa. Me and Papa, dude. Judah Friedland. We oh, were all yeah, good, cool. uptown dudes. Like, yeah. Before I. Bef- it was Boston. But that Comic lineup, Club. you, Judah, and Tom Papa, that lineup. That's killer. Yeah, man. it was me, Papa. That's old school. Yeah, it was all of us. And uh, Maceo. It was just all. I remember Maceo. Maceo. He had funny it, shit, killer. man. And Lucian was alive. Boy, Lucian was mean as fuck. Um, <laughs> but it was all of us. Burr. It was all of us I down there. I saw Burr yeah. at, uh, at the comic shop when I was in high school. Yeah, I went to a show. Yeah, it was like, like Burr, Kevin Brennan, Burr, Maceo. Burr, Brennan. Yeah, it was all of us. It's a great and, show. And so. I don't know Richie Tinkin, who was a nice guy. I knew, you know, Richie Tinkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew him before his voice was, ah, yeah, yeah, when oh, he had wow. a regular voice. Yeah. Uh, Tinkin and Lucian. And that was when it was cool, man. And then I don't know what the fuck happened. Thank you. It's either, I don't know if it's managed. I don't know. Something changed. One day I was you like, gotta uh, care so much to keep a comedy club. You afloat. have to care. You, you have, have to, to keep. You, it's a culture. You can't mm-hmm. be distant from it. You have to be really in it, you and have, you really have to see. That's what's why SD is so, and they're so hands on, right? With, but that's what keeps it decent. Yes. Even though there has leaked, there's been some whack shit leaking into the cellar. Oh yeah. But but. It's still, it's still, it's still a good club. It's still good shit. Yeah, there's still it's, good. I mean, there's no even with issues. It's the best club. It's still the best club yeah. because of the hands on. Yeah. See, if if Manny were there, because Liz is so on. Liz, shit. Liz is far more no is so it. on shit too. And I you mean, need that. You need that yeah. kind of. You need that shit. You need it because when Manny was here, alive, Manny, you've seen the photo of Manny. Yep. Noam's dad. Oh fuck. 
That dude didn't play. He was he was funny as shit. Noam is scary because Noam sounds like his father at right. times. It's scary. Noam will be joking. I go, you just you're doing exactly like your father. He literally imitates his Noam really really cares, and it's, no, he it's a really a fuck. It's really and yeah. he's a good he's a good man. He's I mean, a good man. I remember when the New York Times did that story on him? And they tried to peg him and stuff, and I was like, man, yeah, it sucks. you don't know how good a dude this is. He's really a good dude. He has his things where you're like, fucking Noam, but more, every person has their things. Everybody yes. does. You're running a business. He's, he's right. he is a good man, and he's, he's a very and good he, and he dude. He does right by the staff and by the comics. Yes, and, he pays and that's, the most, and that's hard to do. Well, you like. His father ain't there. His yeah. pops didn't give a fuck how you felt. I remember his father would do this. If someone's on stage, him and Esty was speaking in Hebrew. They'd be like, and then Manny would go like this to me, get the fucking cane. And he'd be like, get him off. Whoa. Manny was funny, though. He had jokes. One yeah. line, Manny was fucking funny. Well, they a said he would hold court. It was a Colin, Patrice, yeah, Apollo, would, and he was, was holding court. Do you what, miss that time at the yes, cellar? Yes, it was. Do you miss like Patrice and Geraldo? Yes, and, Geraldo, Patrice, yeah. Berg, Foss. It was all of us, just all of us ripping on each other. Artie, uh, Ian Edwards, Dina. It was all of us ripping each other to shreds. Yeah, dogging each other. Jim Norton. I mean, we we mur and then talking about politics and race and. We'd be talking about real shit. Yeah. Because Geraldo was brilliant. He's a Harvard lawyer. Brilliant. Brilliant. We, everybody was grad. Uh, uh, Judah has a, a degree in film from NYU. Mm. So does a tell. So does, I mean, I have a degree in psychology. I was, and, and we all, everybody could talk, you know? Yeah. And he would bring politicians. We had politicians. Professional talkers. Yeah. Right. Yes. He would bring politicians. Man, he brought politicians to the table. I mean, like famous motherfuckers came to the table to talk to us and he would take us to the Martin Luther King celebration. He was part of the core. He was part of the Manny's, uh, um, Noam's dad was on the, the board of the Martin Luther King wow. Foundation. So we would go. I met Hank Aaron, what? Laura wow. Bush. Yeah. What? Did Hank fucking... Aaron have the biggest hands ever? Man, Hank was like, how you doing? I was like, God damn it. <laughs> All right, RIP, man. Fucking legend. Yeah. So I, I, baseball is really like, We've lost something great, and I don't mean to sound like old America here, but like baseball was so baseball fucking was the big, shit. and it's kind of it's lost a little bit. Well, corporate, it's corporate, corporate now, and people don't stick. And it's like football; nobody sticks with their teams. Everybody right. goes where the money is, which I don't blame them because corporate but football NFL is horribly run. It's it's horribly run. It's like no different than boxing. It's just but you go for the money, which I don't, I don't blame. Know. I cats. like Gruden. <laughs> God, shit. No, but when they here's when here's when you know the man. NFL really fucked up. Yo, when they, man, they're literally Gruden. giving these players CTE. And I like them too. Shit, <laughs> it, that that was uh, that hurt, man. I mean, and like, but you're giving these players CTE. You're killing yeah. them. They're killing getting them. blackouts. Yeah, there's no long term health coverage, and then you're yeah. fucking getting mad at them for doing end zone dances. Yeah. <laughs> Like, are you fucking yeah, kidding right? me? Yeah. It's They're silly. dancing. It's yeah. silly. What if he just got his CTE results? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clear. Uh, <laughs> no memory uh, loss. <laughs> but the, the, the table was this bastion of thoughts and, yeah. and provoking yes. and all yes. that. And now it's so weird. Like, I said yeah. cunt at the table, and somebody goes, whoa, watch the language. I'm oh, like, oh, we got to go. And it's not even like a PC thing or like whatever yeah. or offended thing. It's like, what are you doing? We're, yeah. we're talking here. You're right. talking about my wife. Yeah, I mean, Jesus exactly. Yeah, and it's and it's <laughs> fucked up because what yeah. we used to do too, man. I man, what we used to do too is like we'd go down, like say Voss goes down on stage, and we'd all come down and stand in the doorway and wait for him to do some <laughs> whack shit. We go, nah. <laughs> <laughs> or we'd walk past to the bathroom and, and on purpose to keep yeah, distracting. Yeah. Keith would go. Mackie would go. does that to me. Mackie still. <laughs> Mackie does it to me all the time. Well, he'll see me on stage and he'll keep doing this. Or he'll do uh, this. Or yeah. he'll, he did he'll give me, he'll give me middle sharp. fingers. Yes. Yes. He kept us sharp. We dogged each other. We'd yeah. be like, oh. And when, when Norton would be like, oh, Colin, your cancer legs. I'm sick of your cancer. Like, why are you crossing those cancer legs, you piece of shit? And Colin would be like, I'm finished. I'm fucking finished. <laughs> it was great. It was great. It was almost it was, like a, a ball team. It was like a squad. We would, we would disagree and shit would get heated. I remember, man, I remember this shit. 9 11. When 9 11 happened, they had opened up after about a week. They started opening. We started doing shows for the workers. You know, we, oh, I yeah. did one. We would do a, I did a theater. 
where all the, 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 the workers, they were dusted. They had the dust on them still. Oh my God. What? We had to do shows. Yeah, man, we had to do shows. And I remember it was me, Marin, Chris Rock, DePaulo. How was this said? I gave it a ground zero. It was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Corey Ellie, we all did a show. And I remember Mitch Fatel. Mitch Fatel went on stage and was doing his little little boy shit. You know, he goes, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my goodness. What's this? That shit. And we were at the table. And we went upstairs, and we're at the table, and Mitch Fatel comes on stage and goes, hey, what's up, guys? And Mitch is cool. I'm like, hey, what's up? And Nick goes, really? Is that, that's what the fuck you do on stage? Acting like a little fucking kid when people are fucking dead bodies and da-da-da-da? Wow. What the fuck's wrong with you? He just snaps on him. He goes, I don't- Depolive? Depolive just yeah. blacks out wow. on him. I go, I'm like, what the fuck? He goes- he goes, dude, there's, there's, you know we got bombed, right? Did you know that? Do you have any jokes on that? You're not even fucking talking. He goes, I don't need to talk about that. I'm not, I'm giving. He's going I, the escapist route. I was here. like, man, yeah. I was like, yo, Nick, leave me there. That's yeah, what he yeah. does, man. The <laughs> fuck you talk about that guy? It was the fucking, he goes, he goes, what the fuck was that? He's like, eh. he, he was like, it's bullshit. You're, you're a fucking grown man. He just gets, he just snaps. Yeah, yeah. I That's mean, I, happened before. Stuff like that happens every once in a while. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, yeah, it was I mean, harsher. Was I remember it? Artie Lang sat down like two years ago at the club before COVID. He was like, what are you doing? You guys are like complimenting each other. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's like, I don't like sitting at those tables really, depending on who it is. It's like. You, you're afraid, like, yeah. I don't know who's, who's gonna take shit for... Right. Yeah, we used to shit on you, like, Patrice would be waiting, <laughs> like Jabba the Hutt, he'd be yeah. sitting, waiting, and you'd see... a waitress him. chained to his leg. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and he'd be sitting, and you'd walk in, and he's just, you're about to get, you got to get fucked up. I know. And he'd be like, this, ugh, ugh, yeah. this, yo, what the fuck are you wearing? You know, right? And, and, and we, but that's what we did. Well, you kept each other in check. Now yes. we talk about safe spaces and all that shit. I'm like, I'm scared of you. I'm scared of you yeah. ratting me out or ratting tweeting out. or whatever. Like yeah. you're scary. Yeah, I'm just gonna say a, a offensive word or a joke. Yeah, it's sad. That's and that's what that's why a lot of the comedy for the ones that are all PC is weak. Weak shit. Well, it's, it's important weird. to have like I, I'm not saying that like we all it's need bullying. to just be careless, but it's like not it's about nice. Being offensive. It's, it's, it's right. nice right. having anything goes table. Yes. It's nice to have like yeah. one place you know you can kind of just say Anything you can you take risks that yes. are that are never malicious, but are you know that might walk a line sure. of indecency. Yes, yeah, and, yes. and there's something exciting about that. That right. that even like in a prohibition type vibe that yeah. that exists. Yes, and if right. we lose it everywhere, if we lose it even at a comedy club, then it's just lost. Yes, it's lost. It's exactly. Not, it's not fun. And people say, "How is this affecting you on stage?" I go. What? I'm like, I haven't changed shit. Same, same here. <laughs> I, but I, I mean, I I'm not changed. calling people the F word. You, right. I'm still doing those jokes, but I'm, and, and it's nothing wrong with, okay, you know what? Instead of there, I'll tweak it and go here. That's right. cool, but I'm not losing the integrity of the joke. Same. I'm going in. Exactly. I'm going in. I, do, I did LGBT shit all day this weekend. I was doing LGBT. I was like, I, I have this joke where I go, the LGBTQ, they're bored. They're bored mm. because gay, my, my gay friends, gay people like to be noticed. Let's be real. The culture is very, it's flashy. Very, it's very flashy. It's very like, hey, I'm here. Right. Yeah. We know. Look at uh, Miran. Yes. Kigani. Sequence. Yes. Sequence. Fla Sequence. I love that. That shit makes me laugh. Yeah, yeah. it's great. We but love Miran. They, like, they don't like. He's, he's so fun, that guy. And the fact that yeah. they're being normalized, now that you got your rights, now you're being normalized. No one cares now. That's 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 pissing them off. Interesting. So they go, let's go. Fuck Part of their with. identity was the same. So they're like, we're, we used to be like, oh, uh, now let's go fuck with pronouns. We're bored. Ah. So I talk about that, and it's working. But I'm like, you guys are bored. Yeah. I'm not dogging the LGBT. I'm saying right. you guys. It was kind of better. It's an before observational you joke. Guys were fire. When yeah. you guys came, we knew you were here. Yeah, we loved it. You were loud. Now no one gives a shit. Right. Now, and right. now you're upset. Like, damn, this is not cool. We're not. That's we're a normal. funny angle. I and like it's it. also not a, even you're you're kind of criticizing from within. You're not saying I don't like you. You're saying here's a funny observation. Right. I mean that's it, but right? If they're if they want to be normalized, okay, we should be able to make fun of you now. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. You're welcome to 
society. Right, right. But what do you you got to make up your mind? Your special interests when you get to the fucking comedy club, mm. but then you want to be normalized outside. That's not how it works. Can't have it we, both ways. We get jokes from normalized society. Right. That's what we get. We get jokes from the life we live. Yeah. So you, sh if you want to be treated like human beings, I should be able to joke about you from a good place. But there's a lot of funny shit in the gay community because gay people make fun of it. Yes. Because when 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 it's, when, form, it's a form of welcoming. Right. When, yeah. when when uh Miran goes yes, bitch, <laughs> yes, yo sucker dick, and it's right. hilarious. It's great. It's Did you really? Funny. You do, can you do? Can you do me and Norman? Can you do impressions of us? I did. I did one. Oh, I only do pick it up, pick it up. That's all I do, <laughs> right? Pick it up, pick it up. Hey, uh, pick it up. You know like that. And yours was. I did one. I was like, oh, there's a girl I went out with. A girl I was dating. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Sam's you know? a little more subtle. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can do you on the mic. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I hold on, you got to ruin girl. your posture. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> I went on a date with this girl. <laughs> she wanted me to pay That's the bill. Good. That's yeah. pretty good. That's not, pretty not good. Not bad. Not bad. I, I, I might tell, are... oh, dear. Raise his, raise his. He's like Moogly. Oh, dear. Oh, she the black man. Uh, I, so, I, I saw now. a guy light a tell once, and he goes, oh, really? And the guy was like, ah. He's like this, but John Mayer's going on next. <laughs> Oh, he let me ah. kind of wrap it up. <laughs> Is there anything funny what? when Natel goes that route? When oh, it, I, it it is, Natel used to do this, man. This used to have me die. He's so fucking brilliant. He goes, he goes, hey, give it up for Artie Fuqua. <laughs> right? He go right after Moesha. <laughs> <laughs> that is, That's I mean, the, best. the funniest. Dude, he's my, my favorite, favorite. is when a joke bombs, he goes, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I love he's when so it does? Dope, He'll do uh, whatever city he's in. He does that like fake cop one. He goes, Ann Arbor, Michigan. You guys know how to party. Am I right? <laughs> he goes, you know what the funnest thing about Ohio is packing up and getting the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and I love when he, he bombs. He goes, mm, mm, I better turn this up to funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, exactly. I need quick laughs. Quick laughs. Monkey pussy. Monkey pussy. Monkey pussy. Uh, <laughs> Who, are there any other big comics you can do? Shit. George Wallace. Let's oh, see. yeah. They're like, that's a stupid Guffrey. I just want to tell you, Guffrey, man, I really enjoy you. Very talented, boy. Very talented. <laughs> wow, like, that's dead A lot on. of stupid things. A lot of stupid things. A lot of stupid people. I hate stupid people. Yeah. Can oh, you do Cosby Clint? later years? All right. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I'm free. <laughs> and I'm going to find a bitch to lock me up. <laughs> so my Netflix special is going to be called. I don't know. Wow, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> How about... Uh, <laughs> He's just David. Can you do Quinn? Colin Quinn? He's tough. I know, Moore, Jay Moore can do a pretty good Quinn. Not bad. But I always be like, oh, fuck, I'm finished. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm finished. Hey, excuse me. Huh? We don't need you huh, to explain that to us. Huh? He's, like, you know, we, 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 he's like, you don't rape little girls. Listen, I don't need you to grab me in the middle of a mall. <laughs> wow. Okay, we, we, I, think really we, I think we get what rape means. Uh, I'm uh, fucking finished. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I, I mean, just, just, you know. How about the guy who's going to challenge you to a fight in a karate tournament? <laughs> Can you do oh, that? Oh, we do this thing. God, this makes me laugh when he does this. Why he loves this shit. He just does the it's, 80s bully the 80s so well. Bully is like this. Next time, you're fucking dead. <laughs> Meet me at the. Woo! And he uh -huh. just moves. <laughs> Woo! Yo, calm down, dragon. Woo, man. Wait for the fucking mall. And his leg is still up. Yeah, yeah buddy. I, like you say, I don't know why this makes him laugh. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> right. The 80s bully is perfect. He goes, dragons, move. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! He's, he got the girl like, yeah. Yo, I heard you were talking to my girl. <laughs> Listen, bro, one more time. You're cruising for a bruiser. <laughs> <laughs> Put him in a body bag. He's like, come on, Josh, leave him alone. Yo, shut your mouth. <laughs> Dragon smooth. <laughs> oh, that's great. But yeah, Quinn, Quinn said it best about yeah. stand-up. You mentioned this earlier. Yeah. Comedy is the closest thing to justice. Like, yeah. you put Jack Nicholson on stage. He's beloved. He's got the sunglasses. Everybody loves him. But yeah. after three minutes, you're like, all right, buddy. Yeah. You got to make us laugh. Done. Done. That's what I like. Even with the Insta, I don't know how you all feel about the Instagram comedian. When when I see people go comedian, that title, yeah, comedy needs to be like the armed forces. 
It ranks? really does. Mm. Fuck yeah, man. I'm like, like I, the branches, green, the, army, yeah, the green room Amy, is Navy, an example. Navy. I've come into green rooms where there's a comic. I go, uh, and who are you? Oh, I, I'm a local comic. I go, are you on the show? No. Why are you in the green room? Oh, that, yeah. That's pretty ballsy. Don't get me Why started. are you fucking in the green room? That's ballsy. Yeah. That's not your weekend. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care if you won uh, uh, oh, Kansas City's greatest, funniest. <laughs> fuck out of here, man. Yeah. There's no, there's no pecking order. You have to have a peck. It should be like the armed forces. If you're a cadet, you don't talk to a pri- or a private. You don't talk oh, to a general a certain way. Oh, interesting. It should be Unless like, they talk hey, man. To you? What? Unless they talk to you. Right. It's like if I say, hey, you you know, that's how, how we did it. Right. Bernie was like, you do five minutes, get the fuck off stage. That's it. They're, yeah. They're you used you to, see I had time, a lot more you get fear. Off, you stand by the bar. You don't walk into the fucking green room because you did five minutes. Yeah, that well, I is think I, I think I had, a pecking order. I think I had more. F- we had a lot of fear, Mark. When oh, we were young yeah. Comics. We definitely. Good. Yeah. I Good. think I think there there's a lacking of that. Uh, there's an that entitlement fear. now. There needs for sure. it's entitlement because, and that's just how I feel. Like rap music, it's just a lot of bums on a microphone. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of them, women and men, and there's a lot of foreigners that because. Hey, I'm from Tibet. I'm going to be a comedian. <laughs> fuck out of here. You right. know what I mean? I'm Tibetan. <laughs> Some dude named Haldimini Kubilikule. Yeah. That's a special. Get the fuck out of here. But you I, can't uh... even blame them because they go on TikTok and or whatever and, and they I make a million views. I get the enthusiasm, but the, the, the art form is hard, man. Yes, and it takes years. It's hard, man. I'm a funny dude. You guys are probably naturally funny like me. I was a funny, naturally funny guy. But the craft, I said, whoa. Whoa! It's a different thing. There's yes. the craft, motherfucker. How do I take this raw shit and technolize it and make it technical? Right. How do I boom and not just? Well, the yuck. way you're funny to your friends is different than the way you're funny to a room full of strangers. You have to you have to hone that. You, you want to you want to hone it to where you look like you're funny to your friends again. Yeah, you go to strangers. You know what I mean? You want to just be like, yo, blah, blah, blah. man, you just up there. I go, I'm just up there. This is thousands of hours <laughs> yes. of just. <laughs> yeah, trial you know, and error, trial and error, it's, trial it's and no error. It's no different than martial arts. I remember when we would do martial arts at the beginning, you're doing all these dumbass punches and shit, hundreds of them, right? You're like, what the fuck is this for? Five, ten years later, you're like, you're like, and you're yeah. like, oh, right. it's automatic. Oh, it may, oh, I see but why. But in comedy, do- it's like limp dick. Pussy. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Cobra Kai. But it's fundamentals. It's like I it's watch fun- MMA, and yeah. they just look like they're fucking yeah, throwing putt, but it's ye- all It's years, technique. years of that technique. Yeah. Years of that, the way they grab. They have to do that over and over Even and you over. Even you're on a right. sports center, you're like, that's a skill they acquired. Just, they ma- yeah. They're making this look easy. Like, but, So you think you could just be like, next, coming up. Right. Like, that's a skill. Right. Yes, yes. Catching the football, throwing the football, the basketball, the shots. The, the going on that's you know how many times they've done Did that. Did you see I Kyrie know. Irving put like English on a ball? Yeah. And yeah. you're just like Yeah, that that goes in because he practiced that. He practiced so exactly. spin it, boom, the way it hits off the back. It Tim Duncan when he would do that baseline that oh, off the back. I loved board, him. It was all the oh, it was nasty. I oh, love yeah. Tim Duncan so much. It's done thousands yeah. of times. And I a comedy to me is a sport. It's physical. You got to get up there. You got to show up to practice. Yeah. It's no different than sports. You're a sports guy. We're sports people. You have to show up. Some of these motherfuckers think they're magical. Yeah, like they're just going to get lucky because they're just so quirky and I'm just about smarter me. than the I fuck. I didn't write any jokes, right. but I put on this sweater and I feel pretty good about it. Right. So right. I don't know. It takes a lot of effort to be effortless. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's real shit. And it's mm-hmm. like, and and like I said, I don't know every kind. I don't care, but. That never changes the fundamental. And now I remember I was, I was I was having a conversation with Sam J, and she you know she was she was getting her she was drinking a couple she drinks likes to put them back. And she was like, she goes, I'm telling you, Godfrey, watch. There's gonna be a comedian, watch, and that maybe not our generation that's gonna be able to skip the the fundamental price. I said, uh uh-uh. uh, that ain't gonna change. Oh, Nobody's no, gonna skip. Will. I think she's right. I mean, like with no only... no no. As far as being good at comedy, fame I didn't say... wise, they'll skip. But not skill wise. No, I'm not talking about right skill wise. I'm not talking about getting on. But that's TV the show. difference in sports. A fucking five year old can get on a TV no, show. There's no basketball player you're like he's good on TikTok, so we're gonna sign him to a ten day right. contract. But like, you know? he said that they're gonna be able to skip levels because yeah. of. I said, well, they I, will skip levels. They just won't be good. I mean, that's, but she said they're gonna. You do be have to good. put the work in. 
She said they're going to be good without the hours. I go, nah, Sam, nah, it's, crazy. it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, um, I was a funny guy before this shit. I was funny. Just a funny motherfucker. But I had to work hard to get an act. I had to work you're hard. You're a road dog. And you're also a dude when I go to clubs. And I'm not blowing smoke up your ass here. But I know like, that. But the, the, you're a dude that when I play clubs... <laughs> I w- the staff will be like, he did a different hour every show. And I'm like, fuck him. You make us look bad. The waitress is like, oh, we had Godfrey last week. He juggled three chairs. You're like, what the fuck? I can't do that. I'm just doing jokes if about Uber. If I ever juggle, you know I've given up. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. But no, you know, it's always three different hours. Uh, he talked about the city for 20 minutes. I'm like, oh, shit, I got one line on the city. You know? <laughs> I'm like, San Francisco, falling off. I'm like, oh, yeah. shit, nothing. All right, a lot of hobos right. and gays. Uh, All right, geez. now into my prepared right material. To it. So I'm dating this girl. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to this dating this girl show. This like, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> I tell you, good crowd. Good, good crowd. Good teacher really good seems crowd. to care. I tell you, good crowd. Uh. But yeah, you and tell. every time I go to a club, we had Godfrey last week different hour every time new jokes every night fucked with the host fucked with the crowd fucked with the city you're like god damn i yeah i i just i mean what i do you know I, what i do one of the things i do in comedy shit with cities i go i google when they were established Ooh, that's my thing little trick. I, go, I do like baltimore is the best because i'll do baltimore there's the there's what the, club do you do in Baltimore? Do I do, do I do Magoobies. I'm back to Magoobies again. Timonium, right in Timonium. But yeah. now I just I do the the Comedy Factory, which I did for like eight years. It's urban, yeah. very black. And now, I, but I do this joke where I go Baltimore, say eighty percent black, but named after a white man with a cape. <laughs> it's like Lord Baltimore, and everyone's like, yeah, that's true, man. Uh, I said, imagine if he came back to see what happened to his city. <laughs> <laughs> and they fucking die. He yeah. says, and they say, Lord, sire, sire, you have to come back. Look at your city. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh my God. What does happen? Oh, black people are going up. See, that's you built a whole little world out he of said, that. What just happened? I'm like, and then people are like, yo, man, who the fuck are you? It's like coming on after Lord Game of Baltimore. Thrones. What do you mean? <laughs> and there's just ways just that's to great. come at different angles. I mean, sometimes Google, Google the city, Google some shit. For just sure. Go, they fucking, when you do that, they go, oh you put shit. A, you put a little effort into put the a little show. Effort, you make it a little I, special. It goes a long way, man. What are your yeah. favorite cities to play other than like New York, Chicago? You know what's weird? I, I, I like, because if you're funny, it don't matter. Yeah. yeah. But is there any do? like cities you're like, I just like I love, being here? I love Houston. Houston. Yeah, I Houston's love great. I love Texas cities. I love doing Me Texas. Too. Texas, they Dallas and they, Austin Dal- are pretty great. Fuck yeah, I, they, dude, I love San Antonio. San Antonio is great. Yeah. Texas loves performances. Yeah. They're not mm. too southern and they're not it's not too hickish and it's kind of mod it's like a mixture of international and that southern feel. Well, Houston yeah. has got all the Vietnamese now. Very right. And it's very, very neutral. Yeah. Right. And a lot of stuff has come out of Texas which people don't understand. Whole Foods comes starting in Austin. Whoa, Austin, Texas. The Wilson Whole Brothers. Food. Yeah, it, um, Jamie Fox. Yeah, Jamie Fox, and also fucking Six Flags. It was Texas. Mm. A lot of stuff started in Texas, which you think what? Yeah, didn't start in New York. Yeah, didn't yeah. Start a lot of stuff started in Texas. So Texas is a very strange. My sister lives in Dallas. She's been in Dallas twenty years. My 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 nephew goes to U of T. My other nephew, his brother's going to Texas Tech. And my niece is going to probably go to a Texas college, Damn. too. Well, They're JFK very smart. ended in Texas. But, <laughs> <we're either way. laughs> but yeah. Grassy Knoll. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I've been to that, that museum, Me actually. Too. And I was like, I don't think he shot him from there. Ah, the book really? depository. That's bullshit. I, I think it's bullshit. Because I was like, how the fuck he get... Anyway, how the fuck his head go back like that? I think it was in the car, bro. Interesting. I think it was from the car. Oh, or something cuz wow. it was just it was just it, i mean it's a very it's mysterious but i was looking and i go it just didn't look right i just didn't look what right what a weird president to just be banging like hot actress chicks they like, were mad can you, can you picture biden like banging emma uh, stone yeah, no, it's no. like fucking weird he'd but, be fucking betty white or something <laughs> to him that's still young <laughs> but my biden's not too bad folks listen folks folks we have to marilyn find, monroe like, marilyn but listen <laughs> He was banging Monroe. Yeah. That was I Joe mean, DiMaggio's was woman. That was dude. DiMaggio's girl. You don't right. fuck with the Yankee Clipper, baby. And Go DiMaggio's Yankees. probably linked up. And I got a story about DiMaggio. Ooh. Yeah, he's probably 
Probably mafia people love DiMaggio. Yeah, Italian. He's Italian. The dude, he was the clipper, dude. The fucking dude. Greatest he, hitter of all time. Boom. It's, it's him and Jed, Ted Williams. You and know? then he pissed off Frank Sinatra when he, he won Illinois. He needed Chicago, Illinois. He needed that state. Mm -hmm. And Sam Giancana was like, hey, I can get you that. But you got to do me this favor. Uh, Kennedy, he told Joe Kennedy, you got to do me this favor. Got it. You got to tell Robert to stay the fuck off the mafia because uh -huh. he was a DA. Right. He said, St "Keep him off us, man." And he goes, "Don't. We're, we're going to do that. We're, don't worry. Just get us Illinois. That'll help us win this presidency." So the mafia hooked him up, got him the fucking presidency, got him Illinois, which he needed. And then Joe goes, "Fuck those fucking. Fuck those Guidos. We're out." Damn. So he had a lot of shit against him. So you think this, it was a mob hit? I think I I but but if you watch the documentaries, you go man, he pissed this person. He fucking Marilyn Monroe. There was a lot. I think there was a lot. He a had enemies. And That's he had what the, I'm saying. He was trying to be race relations, and that wasn't popular race either. Race relations, and I think L. I think Lyndon Baines Johnson had some shit to do with it too. Mm. It's so I, weird to have mm. a, a, a like I celebrity. I, I mean, he was kind of the first. Celebrity president and Obama was kind of the second one. Like it's yeah. weird to see Obama well, Clinton, now. Clinton, Clinton too. was cool. Clinton was cool Clinton too. Was like, like a sure. cool motherfucker. He's on our city hall Obama with the sex and shit. But know. Obama ha doing a podcast with Bruce Springsteen. Obama having just these like see, I just want to oh, yeah. see that like this. You know, sometimes Obama. I, feel, <laughs> uh, I just I understand what you're saying. Uh, we have wow, to, uh, this guy's doing the whole podcast. I'm a real big fan of your music. I really. <laughs> wow. I, I think that uh, born in the USA. Yeah, that's a great song. Wow. He's like, well, I appreciate you. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, Obama, yeah, you know, I, I think your presence is pretty damn good. Oh, okay, what about what about, what about if uh, Trump started a podcast with Ted Nugent? <laughs> Cat <laughs> scratch fever. <laughs> like this. Very good, very good, but I really don't need you on my podcast. You're not that great. I think uh, I think that ACDC way better than you. <laughs> Angus Young, better guitarist. Very How has Trump not started a podcast? Oh, I know he goes this. God, be one, huge. two, one, two, I'm here. Very good podcast. The best podcast. <laughs> um, I'll be doing it once a month because I'm not a loser. Like lots of people. So this is going to be a great podcast, in fact. I can't I, wait to I, have guests. I don't like Trump. I would listen to the podcast. I would, I would I, listen to I would it too. in a Heart I just want to hear him do ads. You got to get sheath, <laughs> sheath underwear. She's like this. Uh, blue chew, very good <laughs> tablets. I never use them. <laughs> very natural. Blue tablet. natural boner. Sheath underwear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> very good underwear. Very good underwear. <laughs> Woo, boy, this is roll. Uh, where, where are you gonna be? You got any yeah, dates you got coming any dates up? When is this showing? Probably coming out uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Damn. Yeah. Sorry, we do one a week. What are so. you doing? Uh, we, they, they, I'm going to tell them about this date this week. <laughs> <laughs> In two weeks? What's, what What? would that be? What date would that be? Can I have an estimate? Uh, be can... The start of uh, December? No, The wait. beginning of December? No. Yeah. We're, our, oh, maybe. Wait. No, you're right. Two A week into December, so the 10th. Jesus. Okay. Cleveland Improv. Ooh. Dece December 10th. You guys probably do hilarities. Yeah. Dece yeah December honkies. We hung out one time. Remember we went to the Rock oh, yeah. Hall of Fame together. We did. That was great. It was fun, right? I had so much fun with you. December 10th through the 12th. Cleveland Improv. December Classic. 10th through the 12th. Go see them, Cleveland folks. Improv. That's in the flats over great. there. I love Cleveland, man. Cleveland's cool, man. I got, I got love for Cleveland. I have love for Cleveland. The f it, it, they're, they're a hardcore city. They They're love hardcore. Their, they love their teams. They, they love. They got their great teams. Chinese food, and they fucking uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is incredible. And Superman was created in Cleveland. Really? Yeah. The creators oh, of the, Superman. The are other from writer Cleveland. was it Crumb? Who was it? Uh, who was the writer? Oh, Paul Giamatti Harry played Crumb? him. Harry Paul Giamatti played him. American Splendor. You know? Yeah. Harry oh Crumb. wow. Judah Judah Friedlander was in that. Judah's one. incredible. Judah's That's incredible right. in that. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, Cleveland Superman because they have a Superman little uh, museum. Yeah, in, at the at the at the airport, right? You can see the creation of Superman. Underrated wow. town, Cleveland. Underrated well, town. Anywhere, man. anywhere else coming up? Oh yeah, I got um, Minnesota, Minnesota House of Comedy for New Year's on December thirtieth to January second. House of Comedy in the Mall of America, you know, which is a you know House of Comedy great great franchise. Rick, Rick Bronson, Bronson, Tammy Bronson. Kick ass franchise. Um December oh, um Albany, New York. I got the funny bone in Albany, New York, December like seventeenth. They 18. do a good job there. Yeah, it's they boring do. as fucking all hell, but it Albany, I love sucks, that. I love yeah. the shows. December seventeenth yeah. and eighteenth, Albany, New York. 
bitches and my podcast which sam has done and godfrey we Mark, trust i like it, gotta dude. do it it's cool man i like it it's with the gas digital network with the jay okerson this Lewis, we, we love, we love brother. it. Good <laughs> Lord. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> he doesn't rock fingerless gloves, but he's right, right, right there. Right, right. Wow, man. God damn. Yeah, I'm going to rock those fingerless gloves. Does, does Jay Okerson get... know about this dude? No, I don't think so. I don't think they. they, they, they do you think they really look alike? Jay goes, you that... say we're brothers. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. Um, in Godfrey, we trust on the Gas Digital Network. You guys should uh, subscribe to it. Promo code Godfrey get a week for free. And also, I I got my little reward for having over a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. I got hey, my little plaque. Hey, nice. The little, the little they give you a plaque. What you know? And it's, if you're on YouTube, just type it in Godfrey we trust and press the subscribe. It's, he's button. great on it, man. Godfrey, we love him. I mean, we're, we're grateful to have him on the pod. No, man, yeah. this is cool. I was you're like, only our third guest. We were like, we we we, we tried and we tried to get you sooner. So damn, you know, I, I, man, this is this is great. you got to be a regular on here. We love you. Uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, please. please. Yeah. Go, I we would, be, I would love to come the every There's a lot more to weeks cover. Or yeah. whatever. How you guys do it? I don't know. Hell yeah! We'll How's your podcast back. doing? It's going it's good. gets growing. It's, it's really it's pretty, pretty new well. and it's still popping. Yeah, it's so popping, right? Things are yeah, all right. Can't people, complain. People, you can feel it when you go. Oh on. yeah, you'll get some drunk people at the show. Is going. Oh, we might be drunk. Godfrey, do do a uh, Pacino. I know. Do Norm McDonald, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a lot of that. Weed. I'll be a uh, Miami Improv, uh, Addison Improv, Magoobies, uh, Salmon Comedy Club in Richmond, Virginia, uh, Sacramento Punchline, more common samarell.com slash nice. shows. What are you doing, Miami? That's a new Miami's. One. I think this weekend, December. Uh, Good luck. That's a that's a tough room. Is it? Oh, is it? oh Miami? there's a bunch of hot, spicy Latina whores. Oh my god! And uh, they are in the comedy. It's the ninth to eleventh of December. And they're not. So, yeah. yeah, they're just yeah, like they're all go, dolled up. Yeah, they're like, oh, they're wait, this so is boring. Good. You yeah. know, <laughs> I got I got Gary Vito with you me. You need to pay attention to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot of that. Fuck. But you'll you'll get a great view of cleavage from the stage. Yeah. Milwaukee Improv, Atlanta Buckhead Theater, Charlotte Comedy Zone, Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle, Kansas City Improv, yes, and uh, some other stuff. MarkNormanComedy.com. Check it out. Yes. Oh yeah, Instagram help. comedian Godfrey. So there comedian you go. Godfrey. Comedian Godfrey at Instagram. And it and guys, come to our shows, man. Yes. You want real comedy? Fucking pound for pound, real joke writing. See these motherfuckers. They do it for real. It's real talk. Like thank you. Just wow. Stop. 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 Seeing these popular whack motherfuckers. See the popular good ones. <laughs> there you the popular go. popular whack shit, stop. Go stop. see real motherfucking comedy. Yes. Yeah, I love the shirt too. The Carlin shirt. Oh, man. Hell yeah. One of my favorites, George well, Carlin. Dude, it was great to have here. you on. Thank we're, you. We're, it was a fun app, this and fun. Uh, this is a classic. Hell yeah. All yeah. right. Keep drinking. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Praise Peace. Allah. Later. <laughs>